What's going on guys? It's Moore's Ranger back here with another episode of Pokemon Road to Victory. Today we'll be continuing on with Pokemon Gold as we left off in the last episode going down to Olivine City I believe it was and facing them to get the super potion or the special potion not super potion. Uh, they don't want me to follow the sea so we're not allowed it. Okay. Uh, and we were able to get the special potion to help out the gym leader here in this town. I don't remember what the name of this town is now. Stay here. To Olivine Port here. And today we'll be going down to finish up the gym that was in the other town we visited. We didn't actually do much in that town, so maybe there's more to do there. We'll find out. All right, now that we've made it down here to the next town, we'll see what we can find to do. I'm pretty sure when we came down here last time, we did manage to find the gym, so it shouldn't be hard to find it again. But, let's see. Cyanwood City Photo Studio. Take a snapshot as a keepsake. Okay, so I guess we're down here in Cyanwood for today's episode. Yeah, here's the gym here. Uh, looks like there's already people here, so we might be able to go ahead and fight. We'll find out. My Pokemon and I are bound together. My friendship. Our bond will never be broken. Fun, fun, fun. It looks like a, it's a fighting type gym. Sit out hit on the lead. All right. We'll surf. We should be able to pretty easily get through this gym. I don't see any major issues with this gym today. A Pokemon may be able to move this. Looks like we've got to get strength before we're able to do this gym, which I don't know if we have yet or not. So it might be on a hunt to find the strength team. Yep. Looks like we are on our way to find where the strength team is, as I'm unaware of where that's at. Okay, right, now we've made it to this gentleman's house here. Crossing the sea, then listen up. There are whirlpools on the way to Cyanwood. Your Pokemon must know a special move to get over the Whirlpools. We do have the Whirlpool move. Ha, your Pokemon sure look like lightweight. They don't have the power to move boulders aside. Here, use this and teach them strength. You'll need Goldenrod's gym badge to use that outside battles. All right. So now we've got the strength team. On the sea, the only thing you can count on your own good self. I'm so proud of my buff bod. Interesting gentleman there. But now that we've got the strength team, we'll head back down to Sinewood and probably finish a pretty quick episode. Alright, now that we've got a Pokemon here that knows strength, this should be pretty easy. Pokemon may be able to move this. Want to use strength? Yes, I do. And our Flaffy knows it, so now we can use strength. I'm pretty sure I just locked myself in. Pretty sure there was a puzzle there. But the lung wants to battle. Send out a manky. So now that we've locked ourselves out, we'll step out real quick. Let's try this again. So what is the puzzle here? If we go up here to this, no way to get up another layer. Hmm. Now I'm confused. I thought there might have been like a puzzle or something here. There's a much more complicated puzzle than I thought there was gonna be. Is there a way to pull? Holders may now be moved. Yeah, how do I utilize that? Yeah, I kind of expected this to be a lot easier than I was making it out to be. That's alright. 
Wahaha! So you've come this far? Let me tell you I'm tough. My Pokemon will crush stones and chatter bones. Watch this. Ah! Hoor. Oh wow. They're scared now, are you? What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon. That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. This gentleman is uh, terrifying. But I highly doubt he's going to hold much of a challenge as this gym was supposed to be done earlier in our playthrough and we miss these two gyms. So we're uh, slightly over leveled for these gyms and can pretty much one shot everything over here. Which is unfortunately going to be the case, I believe. Oh, he only has two Pokemon, too. Oh, he has a Polyrath. It's actually a Dew Switch. Because a Polyrath probably isn't going to have much. Heard it from our Water type. We'll throw out a very angry Gyarados here that is also Water type. But he's got a few extra moves. And he's a little bit closer to the level we should be. Oh, okay. Now we've been put to sleep. Hmm. Alright. And Dragon Rage. Oh, we back to sleep. Nice. I wonder how long we're going to be sleeping for. Hey, there we go. Oh, now we're just confused instead of asleep. Alright. Still got a good Dragon Rage out. Mind Reader. And... Oh, they're fainted. There we go. Chuck was defeated. What? Huh? I lost? How about that? You're worthy of a Storm Badge. Storm Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 70 obey, even traded ones. It also lets your Pokemon use Fly when you're not in a battle. Here, take this too. Got team number one. Team number one is Dynamic Punch. It doesn't always hit, but when it does, it causes confusion. Alright, now we're done with this one. This episode has been very quick. I'm going to make it a point to come- oh getting a phone call. Moors, how are things going? I called because something weird is happening with the radio broadcasts. They were talking about Team Rocket. Do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. Sorry to bug you. Take care. I think that was supposed to trigger for us to go up to the gym we already beat a while back. You came from Olivine? Do you remember the four islands along the way? I do not. I heard myth that mythical sea creature is hiding in them. That's cool. Uh, apparently we can get the HM for fly here in this town. A guy about your age with piercing eyes and long hair came in. He scared me into giving him my prized Pokemon. I still have one left, but what if he comes back? You look strong. Could you look after my Pokemon for a while? Sure. Take good care of it, please. I've received a Pokemon. Oh, thank you. Take good care of it, please. What is it? Oh, it's a shackle. Interesting. Uh, but from what I see, we can get the HM for fly while we're down here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and catch that on this episode, since this episode was so quick. At only 10 minutes, uh, probably need a little bit more for y'all to see. There wasn't much going on in between these two. It's just crossing the water. All right, where's Chuck's wife? Photo gallery. I don't know where Chuck's wife is. The gym leader pars with his fighting Pokemon. That's cool. You crossed the sea to get here? That must have been hard. It would be much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly. Okay, here we go. Best sign was gym badge. Then you should take this HM. 
receive the HM. Lovely. Now we can teach fly to our Pokemon. You will be able to fly instantly to anywhere you have visited. My husband lost you, so he needs to train harder. That's good, since he was getting a little chubby. Alright, well that will do it for today's episode. We'll pick up here next time. Hopefully y'all are enjoying the series. As always, make sure to leave a comment letting me know what Pokemon you'd like to see carry on for the rest of this run. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace out.